so you know sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 this is uh, an identity we will use here sin inverse x cos inverse x is pi by 2 now this is a square plus b square we have to find the greatest and least value can we write this in the term of the whole square of something because if it is a square of something its least value will be zero and uh, highest value you can work out okay so uh, this thing i can write uh, the left hand side sin inverse x plus cos inverse x whole square will be uh, sin inverse x plus this is a square plus b square right plus cos inverse x i can say a square plus b square is a plus b whole square and minus 2ab to sin inverse x cos inverse x i can write like this now what is the value of sin inverse x cos inverse x? we can write pi by 2 square minus 2 times sin inverse x and cos inverse x can be written as from the same identity pi by 2 minus sin inverse x no issue so far so good okay so this is pi square by 4 this is uh, 2 uh, let me multiply so it, it is pi sin inverse x and when i multiply this these two this and this which is two sin inverse x square now which is can this be written further in the form of whole square see this is a square plus 2ab plus b square something like that what i am getting is i can take two common the first term is a square is sin inverse x square i write this first from here i am taking two common so this will become minus pi by 2 sin inverse x and from here also i took two common so this will become plus pi by 8 yes okay. so this quantity again we can make it a perfect square so we'll become two times this is a minus b whole square that is a is sine inverse x and b is the half of this quantity half of this is minus pi by four half of pi by two is pi by two square so when i write a minus b whole square i know there is a term of a square plus b square minus two ab so b square is not there so we will write that minus b square so b is this quantity so minus the square of this means pi square by 16 and plus pi square by 18 was already there 8 sorry pi square by 8 was already there now see this has come closer to conclusion now this is the whole square of something let me write it as it is sine inverse uh, x minus pi by 4 whole square and this is when i subtract these two i get pi square by 16. now what can be the least and uh, greatest and least value of this when you look at this see least value of the whole square of any number can be zero so when i see the least value right here i can say the least value this quantity should be zero so if this quantity is zero what does that mean this value will be two times uh, zero plus pi square by 16. so pi square by 16 means this is 0 plus pi square by 16 right so pi square by 16 into 2 which is pi square by 8 so what is the maximum value now maximum value to get maximum value this quantity should be maximum 
Now here pi by four is a constant, but sine inverse x can take any value between minus pi by two and pi. By 4. So to get maximum value of the, this, I should have the number inside the uh, bracket, biggest number. How will I get biggest number? If I take the value of sine inverse x negative and minimum, then only I have a bigger number here, right? So for that reason, for the maximum value, what I do, sine inverse x in place of sine inverse x, I write minus pi by two, minus pi by four was already there, and a square of this, and plus pi square by 16, all right. So this is, when I add these two number, I get two times LCM four, it should be minus three pi by four? Yes, minus three pi by four, and square of this, and plus pi squared by six. Okay, so let's do one more step. We have already got the answer. Uh, here we go, two times. This should be nine pi squared by 16. Here, did you understand why we took minus pi by two? Because uh, minus pi by two minus three pi by two is biggest inside this square. The squaring it, I'll get a bigger number. So this is nine pi squared by 16 plus pi squared by 16. Can I simplify this? It is two times 10 pi squared by 16. Now this should go eight times and this should go five and four. Five and four. So finally the answer come five pi i square by sixteen. No four. So we got the answer. This is the maximum value. So this is maximum value, and just above here we got the minimum value also. So this value is. Minimum value. All right, so 